Hey everyone, it's Peter T. Arena back with some more tips related to a warming up theme. And today I'll be talking a little bit about drones and playing along with drones as you warm up. So this is something I've kind of been doing more recently as of the last probably year and a half or so. And in the past I've done it with a tuner. Um, more recently I've done it with uh, drones that I kind of uh, put together myself. Kind of recorded myself hauling some long tones and trombones and you know with software. I've uh, created drones that are very similar to the cello drones. And in this case they have more of a trombone timbre and are twice as long as the cello drones on YouTube. So there's a few reasons I recommend playing along with drones. First and foremost, and the biggest reason, is intonation. When you're playing with others, it's very important to play in tune as much as possible. So not only is it pleasant for your co-musicians and the people you're playing with, but also for the audience, whoever's listening, whether it's live or whether it's a recording. So in this case, when you're playing along with the drone, you're not necessarily playing with someone else, but the important thing is that you're playing along with something and not just by yourself trying to gauge your own intonation. I mean, it could probably work if you have perfect pitch or something like that, but from my experience, it's always the most fun to play with others. And I think it's also a lot of fun for the listeners as well. So another popular reason to play along with drones is to improvise. It's kind of nice having that bass drone, that bass pitch, and creating different harmonies or intervals in juxtaposition with that drone. And another possible reason to play along with drones is to maybe try to match the timbre of the drone or try to complement it or try to even simulate um, playing along with another like instrument or person. So cello drones popular, maybe if you're a string player, uh, the timbres kind of uh, go together nicely. So that kind of brings me to my final point, which is the nice thing about having a trombone drone is that it closely matches your instrument. It's also just a very nice timbre, um, especially if you think about trombone choirs and the trombone as a singing instrument. It's a very pleasant sound and a very pleasant part of the tessitura all at once. Okay, so let's play some long tones along with the trombone drone and B-flat longer tones, I should say. I think long tones is a relative term. so. This is actually kind of perfect because I haven't really played much today, so usually when I start my warm-up, I do a few breathing exercises and maybe some relaxation techniques, which I'll talk more about in another video. And then, um, then I'll go ahead and start playing a, a few notes on the trombone. Okay, so I'm going to start on middle B-flat and maybe work my way down chromatically an octave or so. And as I'm doing these, my goal is to not only have a very nice, resonant, pure sound, but also to try to get each note to ring or at least kind of match with the drone so you really have to open your ears. some of these I'm also thinking about relaxing and using air that's really warm because the warm air is actually what's going to resonate the instrument. <laughs> Sometimes I'll even go a little higher than that middle B flat going the other way, but you get the idea. So try some of these in your daily warm-up and maybe even record these and document everything for about a week and see if there's an improvement in your intonation. So if you're wondering where to find these trombone drones, you should be able to Google it or do a YouTube search. But also if you go to my website, petertiarena.com, 
and you go under the resources section, I believe there's a playlist that links to the trombone drones. And I think at the recording of this video, I have nine of 12 pitches. So I'm hoping that'll cover most of your needs. Okay, so that's it for this video. And before I forget, I wanted to thank everybody for checking out my single, It Could Happen To You, which is part of the album Just Yesterday, which came out two weeks ago. Thanks so much for checking it out. If you haven't, you can check it out now on major streaming platforms. There should be links down in the description. And if you have any questions, comments, requests, etc., leave it down below in the comment section. And uh, until next time, peace.